Hi everyone, Mr Green all back again for the second instalment of our workout. All you'll need at home is a space that you can stand up and lie down in and today we're also going to be using a lightweight. So I've got a plastic water bottle, but any other plastic bottle will do, or a tin of beans or any other household packet like that. It doesn't have to be particularly heavy guys, it's more about just uh, activating your core muscles for some of the exercises that we do um, and just recruiting muscles that have to work when you're using more than your body weight. So I'll just put that to one side for now and I'll talk you through our warm-up and then we'll do our warm-up and then I'll talk you through the other exercises. So it's going to be similar to last week but slightly more challenging. Uh, again, we're going to start with just warming our legs up. So it's going to be a straight squat down, keeping your weight on your heels, back straight. You're going to reach down and touch one of your toes and then as you come up, you're going to twist out of the movement and bring your hand behind you. Um, we're going to do that for about 30 seconds. After that, we're going to lean forward, stretch our lower back, put our hands on the floor, and then we're just going to crawl forward into a press-up press position. Make sure that your shoulders are above your wrists, or over your wrists, I should say. And then we're going to move backwards into our bent over position, stretching our lower back, and stand all the way back up to work um, that lower, those lower muscles in the back. Uh, after that we're just going to do a bit of cardio, so we're sprinting on the spot. Remember if you're living above somebody it might be better just to switch your hips to get a bit of movement uh, and loosen up those core muscles but if you, uh, if you feel like you're not going to make too much noise you can run on the spot or sprint on the spot. So we'll make a start now for um, 30 seconds, we'll do our squats and twists. Okay, so let's go. Straight down and twist out a bit. Straight down on the foot twist out a bit, straight down, and twist out, straight down, and twist out, and straight down, and twist out, and straight down, and twist out, straight down, and twist out, straight down, and twist out. Okay, perfect. So exercise number two now, we're going to be bending over and crawling forward. So just for 30 seconds. Try and keep your legs straight, bend over, hands on the floor, walk forwards, shoulders above your wrists, walk all the way back, and stand up. We'll do the same again, walk forwards, shoulders above your wrists, and walk all the way back. Again, stand up. One more time, forward, try to keep your legs straight if you can, heels come off the floor, back straightens, Shoulders go over your wrists, heels come back onto the floor, back straight and back straight. Perfect. Right, last one, we're just going to be jogging on the spot and then taking it up to a bit of a, a faster pace in a second. So we'll go now, just have 30 seconds. Right, 10 seconds gone, 20 more seconds. Right, now take the pace right up if you can. And if you're living above somebody, just side to side movements like this, that will be absolutely fine. Oh, all right guys, well done. Okay, perfect, you've done really well. So, the workout now, you'll need your weight. We're going to do the same thing that we were just doing in our warm up. Going to squat down straight. Touch our toes with the weight, and as we come up, we're going to twist and hold the weight out to the side. So just watch lights, walls, people, or pets behind you, okay? So we're doing this for 30 seconds. Um, we're doing the same side for 15, the other side for 15. So we'll make a start now. Straight down, touch your toe. Don't twist when you're going down into the squat as it needs to be pressed. Nice guys, hold on. 
Okay, show up right now while I try to make you move. Just turn sideways to make it easier to see. I'm going to put our weight beside you. We're going to do the same thing we're doing our warm up. Then forward. Hands on the floor if you can. If you're not very flexible, you just bend your knees. Or put your hands further away from you. As you walk forward, your heels come off the floor, back straight and then your shoulders are going to hold your wrist. They're not behind your wrist, not too far forward. You don't want to put any pressure on your shoulder and you don't pay to go to close your shoulder. So when we're out of this position, we're going to keep our weight in one hand. We kind of worked on our upper body strength last week and we're going to our weight back up. So you should find that you can reach across, grab your weight, pull it across, walk yourself back up. Do that for 30 seconds and uh, really tense your core and try and keep your back straight when you do it. Okay, so let's go. Back straight, reach across, do the weight to the other side. Go the other way. This one's slightly more difficult, so if you don't want to use the weight, please don't. We're going to come straight down. From the squatting position, we're going to put our weight on one side and lift it. And then we're going to bring our body to the weight. Okay, so we're not going to keep our hand up. Uh, we're bringing our body to the weight. So one more time. Come down. Lift. It's really important that we're not twisting here, okay? And bring my body to the weight. Right? We're using strong muscles in our body uh, rather than that way a lot. Uh, most of the time anyway. Right, so we'll start for 30 seconds. Squat down, lift your weight, press it, bring yourself to the weight. You can swap hands, bring yourself down, press the weight, bring yourself to the weight. And again, press that weight, come up, bring your body to the weight. Here. Got it to the way. Keep going. That's what I got. Right, just a little bit of a rest while we're going to do our upper body exercise. So, again, holding this weight, we're going to be reaching it out. To our side, passing it in front of us, passing it to our other hand, and Okay, we'll be doing that for 30, exercise, uh, 30 seconds. If you feel really confident with it, bring it out to the side first, then in front, do this crossover, you can do a squat in the middle, and then bring it back. Okay, and that will work your body on the middle. So we'll start now for 30 seconds. Side, bring in front, and then to a squat, and come back up, and out. So this is why we only wanted a tin of beans or something like that. Hopefully, you're not doing it with uh, like a big two litre bottle of water. Right, if you don't want to, you don't have to do the squat. Bring this up, bring it round, and then to do the squat. Really try and get your core activated. If you are doing the squat, just feel those abs in your lower back tightening. Keep it straight, your back should be straight. You shouldn't be. Okay. Nice to go, folks. Right, 
So we're going to work on to our core now. Again with the weight, so I apologise. It's not going to be that easy. Just to show you what we do while you're having a rest. Last week what we talked about is um, bringing our knees up like this, shins parallel to the floor, and we can hold the back of our knee to bring ourselves up, or we can hold our head so we can touch our elbow to our knee. Right? Now, we're going to just do something similar that works on that, but if you find this next one too hard for you, just do that again. So you can hold your knee and literally pull yourself up, but if you are going to help your hands, try and tense your stomach muscles just to keep you here. Okay, for a second before you go back down. If you're doing it with your elbows, then again, tense and bring yourself back down. If you want to do it with the weight, that's hardest of all. Um, so it's up to you which kind of level you're working at. So what we're going to do with the weight, which is a little bit harder, is going to straighten our legs, lift our weight up, so my legs are straight, my hands are straight, and I'm going to sit up and touch my toes with that weight. So we're working the muscles right at the top here. Right? And we'll go for 30 seconds. Which one you're doing, it's just good to get a workout. Keep going. Be kind to your body and lean to your soul and hold it there if you can. If it's too hard, if you want to use the weight, you can bend your knees. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Well done. So, hopefully, every week we'll be getting stronger and stronger. And next week, we might start to weight side to side and to use some of these muscles at the uh, corners at the edge of the body. Okay, we're going to focus on the lower part of our abdomen now. We're going to be on our elbows for this one. Again, last week we were just circling our legs out. Uh, this week we're still going to work on similar muscles, but we're going to make it more difficult. So we're going to be on our elbows, legs are going to be out in front of us. And we're going to bring that leg up and touch our hand to our I think it's easy, but it's really going to burn up the So. Start now, we'll come from this side here. Elbow comes back down, takes the weight, other arm comes up. If you can, keep both feet off the floor. If you can't, rest the other one on the floor while you do. So we're really working on the muscles in the bottom of our abdomen now. Guys, see you again next week. Stay safe.